Thanex Wrong Operation Prevention functions provide tools to error-proof both data entry of values and program execution. These functions are particularly valuable when the operator does not have a lot of experience on a particular control or machine. The wrong operation settings are displayed using the Setting MDI Function button. Press the Continuous Operation soft key until the Guard soft key is displayed. Press the Guard soft key. There are four groups of settings that can be displayed and modified by pressing the appropriate soft key. The first guard screen shows a variety of operation confirmation settings. The remaining three screens provide settings for input range checks on tool offsets and workpiece coordinate system offsets. We will start by looking at the input range check for tool offsets. The wrong operation setting screens may look slightly different depending on the CNC screen size. On a 10.4 inch screen or larger, both the length and the radius offset limits for a mill can be set on a single page. On the 8.4 inch display, the length and radius offsets are displayed on separate pages. To display the appropriate tool offset input limit table, press the operational soft key and then press the change soft key to cycle through the pages. For tool length geometry offsets, the limit values depend on the technique used to establish the actual tool length. For example, if the spindle nose is used as a reference point, no tool length can be negative, so the lower limit could be zero or the minimum length anticipated based on the tool holders available. The upper limit would be the longest tool that's expected to be installed in each pocket. Let's take the example of a 12 position automatic tool changer. Pockets 1 through 10 can be designated to take tools of up to 6 inches long. Tools 11 and 12 may be allocated to longer tools, say up to 10 inches long. To simplify the setup, these values can be created in just two groups. First, we enter the tool range for the first group, 1 through 10. We will make the minimum tool length for all pockets 3 inches. For the first group, the tool length limit is 6 inches. The second tool range is 11 through 12. Again, the minimum tool length for the two pockets is 3 inches, but the upper tool length limit is 10 inches. Now, if the operator inadvertently tries to enter a negative tool geometry value or anything less than 3 inches, a warning will be displayed. The same for the upper limit. Anything over 6 inches for tools 1 through 10 or 10 inches for 11 through 12 will generate a warning. Only a value between the limits will be accepted. The limits are also checked at runtime, so if the operator forgets to enter offset data, an error message will be displayed. Appropriate limits can also be set for the tool radius geometry offsets. Tool wear offsets can have tighter limits. For example, we could set limits on all 12 tools to plus or minus 100 thousandths. Any attempt to enter a larger value will generate a warning. The warnings appear both when an absolute value entered is outside the limits and when an incremental value would result in an excessive summed value. Note that the legal range for each field is displayed at the bottom of the tool offset screen.
Similar limits can be set on workpiece coordinate system offset values, so the values entered are assured to be within reasonable limits according to the machine work envelope and the fixtures being used. Perhaps in this case only negative values are allowed. We are mainly trying to eliminate accidental data entry errors due to misplaced decimal points or the sign of the value. Several wrong operation functions are enabled or disabled on the main guard page. A check next to an item means that function is enabled. A blank next to an item means that function is disabled. To change the status of a function, cursor down to the function, press the operation soft key, and then press the on or off soft key as required. Most of the functions, if enabled, require the operator to confirm the value being entered, to double check if they are entering the value they intended. The first one is for incremental inputs. Several data input screens feature the incremental soft key. On the tool offset page, for example, entering an incremental value displays the sum of the existing value and the incremental value entered. The operator presses the execute soft key to confirm the value or the cancel soft key to abandon the value. The next function asks the operator to confirm a program delete. Again, cancel if the program is not to be deleted. Execute if the program is to be deleted. The third one similarly requires the operator to confirm deleting all data on a table page. The next two disable the input soft key button on the tool and workpiece coordinate offset screens, forcing the operator to use the input key on the main MDI panel. The last three are related to program execution rather than data entry. The first two provide the operator more information about the program being executed. Update modal highlight display highlights any modal G codes that have changed in the current block. The axis status display function displays axis status information next to the axis positions on the various screens. The primary status display is an asterisk next to any axis that is still moving in a block. Other status indications are D for axis detach, I for axis interlock, L for axis locked, S for servo off, and M for mirror image. Note that for the 8.4 inch display, the status is not displayed on the program check screen. The last function warns whenever cycle start is pressed in the middle of a part program. It reminds the operator to make sure that any mid-program startup needs to be from a safe start block. The operator should press cycle start again to continue or reset to cancel. There are a few additional wrong operation functions that are not set using the setting screens. If parameter 3402 bit 6 is set to 0, our warning modal data is changed by block stop is displayed whenever a reset occurs during program operation. This reminds the operator to rewind to a safe startup block if a reset occurs during program execution and prevents inadvertent errors due to an unplanned mid-program startup. The next function is activated by the part program. This function is useful for program segments that should only include small movements between blocks. For example, if small line segments are used to approximate a complex curve. The function limits the maximum incremental move an axis can make from block to block. It does not matter if the move is programmed in G90 absolute or in G91 incremental. The maximum incremental distance is set using the G91.1 command. Individual limits can be set for each axis. 
the function is disabled by programming a limit of zero for an axis. Any move larger than the specified incremental limit generates an error message. This concludes the introduction to the wrong operation functions available on FANUC CNC's. These functions are available on current controls including the Series 0i Model D and the Series 30i, 31i and 32i. For legacy controls, the custom macro function can be used creatively to implement similar checks.